Hi there, here we have the 2019 on a 68 plate Range Rover Sport. This is the 3 litre SDV6 HSE Dynamic. I'll do a video walking around the car showing you the vehicle condition. I'll also be showing you the interior and all the controls as we go inside the car. So starting off with the front, as you can see it does have the Xenon lights. It does have the front parking sensors. So as you can see no sort of major scuffs or scratches when it is nice and clean as well so it does have the nice Range Rover um, badge in black so it goes very nice with the uh, gloss black 22 inch alloys so as you can see the alloys are in great condition so no sort of marks on any of the alloys just to confirm it is a one owner from new it does have full service history Rushmore's have done a full mechanical check a full service and the new 12 months of material will be done at point of sale so it does have the rear privacy glass. Moving on to the back, it does have the uh, rear parking sensors, as well as your rear sensors. You do also have your um, rear camera, which is obviously activated once we go inside the car. It does have the electric tailgate as well. So I'll be showing you the boot space once we go inside the car. It does have a nice spoiler at the back, the um, panoramic roof. A very very nice and clean car this one over two years the manufacturer's warranty still on the car right so you've seen the exterior let's jump inside the car show you the interior as well so the nice white with the uh, black interior so as you can see all nice and clean so no sort of marks on the um, on the front passenger door it does have the meridian sound system so upgraded sound system You've got your memory seats for the front. It's a full leather, heated seats. So the dash is all nice and clean. So I'll be showing you the dash, obviously, and all the controls more once we go over to the driver's side. So you've got your electrical adjustments just here for your um, for your seats at the front. You do also have the lumbar support as well. notice here this does all light up as well especially when it is darker outside it does look a lot more nicer um, so as you can see full seats at the back are um, so all three seats sorry are full leather it does have the two seats which is this one and that one which are both heated as you can see here you have your options for your heated seats so it does have the nice panoramic view from the back as well so it gives it a nice um, light inside the car as I mentioned, the Meridian sound system. So the upgraded sound system. Right, so the electric tailgate. As you see there, there is a button or you can open it on your rim on the key itself. So look at that nice boot space. It does also have the parcel shelves if you wanted to close that up. So that no one can see what's inside your boot and obviously you can do so so there is your button just there to close the um close your boot and as you can see there is obviously no sort of visibility um in inside the boot which is good obviously does have the privacy glass as well which is um is a um is personally one of my favorites as it does make the car look a lot better as well being white with the black alloys um so the nice 22 inch black alloys It is keyless go and keyless entry. Just to confirm, it does also have a ghost alarm. So the, um, the previous owner did fit a ghost alarm, which we currently have. So I've said the new keeper will also have that as well. It is a big thing, so it is. Um, it does obviously risk any chances of the car being stolen. Digital dash, so I'll be showing you obviously all the controls once we go in. But just quickly, Meridian sound system, as I mentioned, you've got your memory seats, you've also got your front and rear electric windows controlled by the driver, you've got your electric door mirrors, which are adjustable just here, and you can also fold them in. Once again, the um, electrical adjustment on the seats with the lumbar support, as you can see, it does have full leather seats which are in great condition. The armrest. Right, so jumping on inside the car now. So let's have a look at all the controls. 
first of all let's go on to the actual digital dash as well so as you can see it is on there at the moment so 29,357 miles if you look on here it does have the lane assist you also have your cruise control on this side on this side here you've got your controls your controls for your phone and for your um, for your radio and for your music and whatnot um, you've also got your paddle shift as you can see so if you wanted to change gears yourself you can do so it does have the auto lights you also have the auto um, auto lights sorry on this side and auto wipers start stop button just there so it is keyless go the, the key is currently in my pocket I'm able to turn the car on and off um, which is all good so as I mentioned obviously the ghost alarm I will show the new keeper the ghost alarm before they drive away it is a big thing um, very nice to have one of them it does give you that peace of mind anyway so let's go on to the actual screen itself so it is a touch screen so if I want to go on to the actual screen itself as you can see very nice um, wide screen so we are currently on the um, on the on on the map itself so if you wanted to zoom in and zoom out you can do so as well it's quite nice to have it um, I say on on touch if you wanted to adjust your um and, and go on to set the destination you can do so that is not a problem so you just click on there um enter your postcode the address wherever it is you need to go and it will direct you for the, so very very nice and easy to work with no sort of difficulties at all let's go on to the actual home page just so that you can see exactly what it's got so the navigation we already went on so let's go on to the media for now you need to know before you go right so Please we are currently on the lbc at national rail Co .uk so as you can see here if we go into source thank you you've got the radio so if we go on to the actual media itself there we go one second there's the bluetooth as well so if you want to pair up your phone and obviously you can do so this is about the story involving member of the royal household let's just turn this volume down as well all right so if we move on to the actual um apps of the car you've also got apple carplay so if you wanted to adjust and um, pair up your phone to it obviously with the usb insert you can do so so then anything on your phone can be mirrored on the car itself so if you wanted to use your um, your google maps for example or ways um instead of using the um the sat nav on the car itself built in then you can do so as well which is quite good um you've also got your cameras so if we go there you've got your rear camera which is obviously activated now once the car is put in reverse it automatically does it for you anyways and um, she so doesn't you know you don't have to go onto the screen and play around with it so as soon as the car is in reverse it goes onto the actual screen itself which is good so it does obviously have the bluetooth phone and audio as well so obviously once you connect your phone any any music that you play will obviously be connected if we go onto the phone itself so just there there we go so a pair of new device i've left them on there for now just so that you can see this is what it will show is or it will show if you've got more than one person that uses the car or if you've got more than one phone to connect um you can jump from one phone to the other obviously all, all this will be deleted once the um, new new keeper um comes and collects the car but just for this the purpose of this video i have left it on there just so that you can see you can select more than one device um which will be saved if you wanted to pair a new one as you can see it just says there nice and easy to work with so you just go into your settings on your phone go into bluetooth and um, you connect it simple as that right so that is the screen itself as you can see you've got the um contacts as well you've got your bluetooth right so it does also have the air suspension so we are currently on the lower mode so if we flick this up the car will start moving up as well so you probably won't be able to see it on the video um but the car is currently now higher that is nice having the low um the air suspension it does have the um electric parking brake as well so that is all your controls here as you can see there it is it looks like it's, it's a lot of buttons but very very nice and easy to work with no complications at all moving on to the actual screen itself uh, below the controls for your uh, media and your sat nav there is also another screen which is touch screen so if you go onto the seats itself and if we press on there it does give you the heated seats as you can see now so you've got three stages so three two and then one being the lowest sort of heat um two being medium and three gives you that nice warm um, seat it does have the ac button as well as you can see just there so your ac is currently on now it does have the front heated windscreen as well as the rear so if you wanted to adjust that obviously you can do so as you can see if you look here on the actual climate itself there we go that's where you want the air to be blowing 
we want to go into the vehicle it does also give you the vehicle information as well so it's not just the climate control you've also got your um, your eco mode and obviously where where you're driving it if, the, if it is raining snowing um if you are off-road sort of driving then you'll see you can adjust that as well which is very very nice to obviously have So it does have, obviously, that, as I mentioned, the panoramic opening roof. So if you wanted to close your blind, it does have the blind as well. So if it is sunny out there, it does obviously affect you, then that's not a problem. If we look here, it does have the SD and um, USB inserts as well, as well as your 12 volts. So it gives you the option to charge your phones as well. Just quickly showing you that the, um, the blind is obviously up now. So it does give you that protection from the sun out there. Right, so you've seen the exterior and interior of the vehicle. If there is any further questions or you need finance arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call as we're more than happy to help and answer any of your questions. All right, thanks for watching.